Tonight we begin with what is shaping up as a major crisis in the judiciary following the 2.9 billion shillings budget cut. Several court sitting have now been suspended and a number of courts such as the Court of Appeal in Nyeri have been closed indefinitely. And as Raquel Mugai now reports, legal experts are warning that the crisis could worsen the already overwhelming backlog of cases. The Chief Justice raised the flag immediately. The Treasury announced the budget cut, warning that it will compromise the work of the courts. And now his fears appear to be coming true barely one week later. In an internal memo addressing judiciary staff from the Chief Registrar, An Amadi, there is no doubt that trouble is brewing in Kenya's third arm of government. The belt tightening measures include the suspension of all mobile court sessions and service weeks planned for the period of October to December 2019. The suspension of all retreats and workshops outside the workstation unless there is donor funding. All sponsored courses are to be conducted in the country after approval by the training committee and within the available budget. The budget cut saw a drastic reduction of 1.49 billion shillings from the recurrent expenditure and 1.4 billion shillings from the development expenditure. The Law Society of Kenya has now sued the National Treasury, complaining that the move not only interferes with the independence of the judiciary, but also the right of the public to access services rendered by the judiciary. Now for the Attorney General, uh, he has... Already the judiciary is reeling from a perennial shortage of judges, with a 14-judge deficit in the Court of Appeal, following the elevation of Justice Maraga and his deputy Philomena Mwilu to the Supreme Court. The Judicial Service Commission is at loggerheads with the President after he stalled the Commission's list of 11 nominees, citing unexplained integrity issues. The names are yet to be published in the Kenya Gazette. The shortage interfering with the delivery of justice in various courts within the country, like in Nakuru, where a three-judge bench sitting has had to be suspended, and in Nyeri, where the Court of Appeal has been closed indefinitely. Experts fear that the current backlog will only get worse. Rakamuigai, Citizen TV.